Diane in Denmark here. I hope you're ready for a wee bit of hygge to get all cosy because uh, I want to share with you what I got at our most recent clothes swap party. Now I've told you all about clothes swap parties before. It's a chance to declutter what you're not using from your wardrobe or makeup, accessories, handbags, whatever you're not using. You may think it's junk but it'll be some other person's treasure and I've been paring down since well, for a few years and since I found the Dressing Your Truth system, I've been able to let go even more of what I wasn't using. Anyway, uh, let, let me run the little video first with the introduction so you can see a bit of what was uh, on offer last night and then I shall show you what I came home with. Okay, so let's roll that film. Okay, here we go again. There's V because she's driving, and not the Volvo this time. We got the wee the big Fiat, the Fiat, <laughs> uh, and you can see we are full to the gunnels, and we've got food down here. V because stuff, and I've got the cake uh, and underneath my uh, knees. So anyway, we shall get to the party, and we'll see what we're going to find this time. Okay, uh, good intentions up in the air. Oh, we're yes. going to come back with type, true to type stuff like what I'm wearing today. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so here we have a mixed pile and this is scarves. You'll see many of the scarves that I was decluttering. Uh, the ladies are in the kitchen enjoying some stew and loaded baked potato soup. Uh, and then we'll we'll start swapping in a minute. This is, um, what is that? Oh, it's trousers and uh, skirts. And over here we have, I think that's bags and belts. Oh, some of mine as well. This huge pile is tops and jumpers. Maybe some T1 items there, hopefully for me. And over here we have oh, makeup. Oh, and some of the nail varnish that I was decluttering recently. Oh, and I need to tell Victoria, one of the Victorias is here. Do you remember that um, As You Want Victoria? lipstick so I'm gonna take that to her okay and then here we have dresses and jackets and shoes and I won't show you too much more because I don't want to show you the ladies house where we are uh, that's my Nespresso coffee machine which has come back oh and a few DVDs also that was from our house Divergent uh, and this is a really funny one it is a picnic set, like a Danish picnic set because it's in a rucksack so you can put it on your back when you cycle. And I'll just take you over and show you the jewellery. Okay, and this is the jewellery table and you may recognise some of <laughs> my jewellery. That was one of mine as well, all the black things are going. I'm hoping to maybe pick up some things in my colours. Oh, that was my belts as well, those are belts. Anyway, uh, I think we're about to start swapping, so I better start filming and get trying. And uh, I forgot to take some photos of the food, but the food was really delicious, especially the uh, the soup, which was um, the pioneer woman's uh, loaded potato, baked potato soup. Anyway, um, and to put things into perspective, because I'm going to show you, I've got a bag of what I brought home with me. If you uh, follow me on Instagram, you'll see that when I went to the party, I'll try and put a picture here. Let's see if I can put a picture here by the magic of technology. I had five of these IKEA sized uh, totes with me. I had five bags full, not three bags full, uh, five bags full. Plus I had the apple cake that I had baked and my Dressing Your Truth cards and my handbag. So. Vivica's car, as you could see, was chock a block with stuff. Anyway, let's see what I brought back with me. And remind me to talk about the jewellery as well, because all that, that came from the party as well. So let's dive into it. Oh, here we go. Um, oh, and I, I tell you what I'll start with. The, the one of the things that you saw in that video, and I couldn't resist it, was what looks like a bog standard um, backpack, you know, um, rucksack, but when you open it up, ta -da! kind of Danish um, picnic basket because you know the Danes were, were always on our bikes 
and this is going to be fantastic when we go down for our skinny dip and when we're celebrating, you know, we're always celebrating something, we've got food and drink. And look, little uh, plastic champagne glasses, cutlery, and there's even a wee towel. So I'm really looking forward to using that and then there'll be space for a bathing towel and uh, keys and stuff. So that was a great event and haha it's in T1 colours, my, my uh, DYT type colours. Right, on, on with the next stuff. <clears throat> uh, I didn't come back with uh, much in the way of uh, makeup or hair products or skin up products this time, it was, me, it, it was more clothes. But this one looked really nice, some kind of um, skin conditioner, hold on just tell me. Mmm, yeah it does smell nice and fresh so. <clears throat> Anyway, and um, I can't really read what's on the back. I need to, you know, eyes are going. But that, that looks really nice. Uh, and uh, the author that mum liked, you know, Celia Emery, the British actress, one of the ones that I wanted to read. So that's fantastic. I'm going to enjoy reading that. A bit of cosy reading when I'm doing my little pamper. Right, now on to the clothes. And you can see this is what I brought back. One bag full. So I took five to the party. Uh, and they were kind of overflowing, and I brought back one, so go me for decluttering. Hold on, let me just get my DYT cards out of the way. Uh, also, the ladies who were there last night, the girls, because uh, a lot of them hadn't seen me since our last close swap party, which was in May, June, when I thought it was another time. And they saw me last night and they were like, oh, wow, what have you done? You look so much younger, and look at your hair. And so I, I told them all about DYT, so I'm sure today they're all doing the before and after program. Remember, you can do that free program and find out what your type is at dressingyourtruth.com. And I'm no way affiliated with them, but I've just found it fascinating. Right, okay, um, where should we start? Okay, we'll start at the top. Uh, lots of nice scarves, and look, ones with little pom-poms on. This is a really nice pale pink. So that's great for here and now. And this uh, scarf, the only problem last night was it's already getting dark quite early in, in um, Denmark and um, the lighting wasn't fantastic so I was at, sometimes I wasn't sure even with my wee DYT cards if it you know what type it was I think this might be a type 3 I'm not sure if it's kind of bright enough for me but I'm going to hold on to it for the minute because you know otherwise it goes back to the next clothes swap uh, this is definitely my colours my silky scarf uh, and again Another one in kind of uh, pastel pink and um, yellows. And remember, don't worry, if even if there's a bit of black in it, nobody wears black apart from the type 4, so I mean, you can wear what you like. But if it's part of the design, but it doesn't kind of uh, swamp the whole thing, then it doesn't matter if there's a wee bit of black around, you know, the outline of stuff. Oh, Viva could find this one for me. This is a, just a little... Um, you know, what do you call it, a little camisole thing, you know, a long one, nice colour, so that was a great find, thank you Vibika, because I was looking out for her and she was looking out for me and saying, oh, and we always pick stuff up and say, oh, would you like this, and she'll say, oh, it was mine, I brought it and got fed up with it. Okay, and this was actually one of hers, it's a vintage dress, you can see it's um, in a kind of shot um, silk and it goes to just underneath the knee and is kind of basically up and down a wee bit of an A-line skirt. So that's going to be really nice for spring, summer. So I'll probably put that away in my... Um, I've got a box of where I've put very obvious uh, sundresses, things like that, that I'm not wearing now. Now in Denmark we are into autumn. And this is a little... Um, Eastern style jacket that I had actually given to Cole, so I've had <laughs> I had this for about 30 years. Uh, it's from Monsoon British Make and I really enjoyed it and then uh, I just got fed up with it and I saw it yesterday and I thought, oh, you know, now and I'm going to enjoy wearing that again because, you know, I'm back to the, the gold jewellery like I used to in the old days. So that's going to get me out again. Uh, a really nice um, blue and white stripy shirt. There's just something fantastic about those kind of, you know, blue blue and white stripes and this is a great one for me look at that and it's also my style I, I like things that are uh, sleeveless because I get very hot in the summer but cold in the winter uh, and I like to layer them you know with cardigans and whatever but you can see that's uh, nice colors and we butterflies and stuff on oh another scarf 
uh, a nice pashmina one to keep me warm and I'll probably use this a lot during the winter and I'm thinking that this winter my daughter has actually a navy parka coat um, that she's kind of gone off and I think I'm going to I'm going to take that for my winter coat this year I'm also looking for like a, a puffer coat you know maybe a kind of winter white one my daughter she's getting my black coat uh, and this was a just a basic top uh, and I'm actually going to wear it that way around because I, I like it uh, when things are high at the neck so I'll probably wear it instead of wearing that way I'm going to be wearing it that way Okay, and oh, and these are a pair of uh, culottes. And okay, it's, it's not the type of weather to be wearing them now, but those are going to be great for the spring pastel pink. There we go. And this is a top that I took. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep it or not. Uh, and, and I'm also going to check because if it's cotton, I'm probably going to dye this a different colour. There we are. Um, but it may be a bit too kind of big and flowy and floaty for me. I'll, I'll see. Uh, but we had a lot of stuff last night and at the end of the party we, we bagged everything up and it was going to, um, you know, the, the charity shop where we didn't keep anything from last night. So at the end of the evening I picked up a few things I wasn't quite sure about but I may, you know, refashion them, dye them, bleach them, you know, whatever. Uh, pale pink sweatshirt. Oh, which is fun, this nice cosy one. Uh, and this is also a really great um, little uh, knitted jumper, which, uh, you know, where we try on everything and everybody's like, oh, great, fantastic colour. And yeah, it's a tea one, come. So really pleased with that. And that one I'll be able to wear also with something else underneath it when it's a wee bit cold. Really nice cotton. What else? Oh yeah, talking of cold, uh, well, I, I like to layer a lot here, you know, when, when we get really down to minus temperatures and freezing cold. Uh, so I, I took this white one, um, you know, for when I'm uh, downstairs in the basement or uh, outside gardening and so there we go. And this was a really great find. This is a silk shirt. <gasps> So I'm just my size. I like, I, I always get the best stuff. It's <laughs> And uh, we had a lot of ladies there last night. Gosh, how many were we? About 15, between 15 and 20 ladies. So there was a lot of action, swapping action going on. Okay, I'm almost at the bottom now, so don't worry. Oh, and uh, remind me to tell you about the, uh, the jewellery. I got a lot of jewellery yesterday, plus the jewellery stand. Okay, now this one, it doesn't look like much... Uh, kind of you know on on the hanger but I picked it up because it was a dress and it was blue there was a lot of black stuff there because I had all my black items uh, decluttered though so I've, I've kept a few black items I've told you about that uh, and I tried it on it and it's really nice it's like um, a, a kind of a boiler suit style dress and I'll probably remove this belt and put on a gold belt and it's great with um, some chunky jewellery and maybe a, a coloured uh, t-shirt underneath or maybe a stripe we'll see but um, I'm going to be wearing that one soon it's very nice feels really good on as well and here's an occasion dress and this belonged to Sue and quite often I have something that will suit Sue or she's got something that will suit me and this is something I'm not going to be wearing it right now because we're now into as I said autumn winter weather but there we go and again this this was a and everybody said <gasps> Fantastic colour, Diane, you need to take it. So it's not my usual style because I was a bit worried I was going to be too big in the hips. I've got a very small waist, small bust. Uh, I'm hippie, so not hippie style, bohemian, but you know, I'm very hippie. Uh, I'm, I'm pear shaped. But actually this, this one fit really nicely and it's a fantastic colour. Very nice and plain and simple. And just with some gold jewellery, I shall be ready to go to whatever party awaits. Uh, and that's me down to the end of that bag and let me just grab the jewellery and show you what I've got there because I've got some great jewellery finds. Just hold on. Now I even came back with this jewellery stand because it was something that Vibika uh, was getting rid of because Vibika, I'm hoping to do some videos with her very soon. She has her jewellery um, on a board in her bedroom. It's really nicely set up, so you might be seeing that soon. Anyway, she was getting rid of this, and I said, yeah, I'll take that. So now, when I look at my outfit for the next day, I haven't done that yet, because I don't know what I'm going to wear yet tomorrow. 
one of my new clothes swap things. Uh, I'll be able to put my jewellery on this, on my little dressing table. Oh, anyway, I've, I've put the stuff on here so I can show you what I got last night. I got all of this last night, the clothes swap. First of all, a set of earrings. And look, the gold and pink uh, and pearly and sparkly. So all T1 types. Fantastic five. Hold on, I'll, I'll take these off because they're very English. And a pair of fun white sunglasses. And remember, all these things, it's just things that we have decluttered and would be going to... Uh, anything that we don't take at the end of the night, as I said, gets banged up and it goes to the charity shop. So everybody wins. You know, we're, we're not uh, throwing things out some nice uh, gold earrings, big gold uh, circles, T1 circles, there we go. And, and I found this terrific, terrific, sadly modern Millie would say, uh, this terrific, let me just pop this down, uh, this heart um, pendant. Ah, uh, but the, the chain was looking a bit mm, uh, dull. Maybe I can clean that up. So I've put it, I've already put it on one of my own chains and that, you're going to be seeing that in a, I might wear that tomorrow, let's wait and see. And then I got um, a really nice green bracelet, <laughs> I could have worn that today actually. And this really interesting one, it's like flat gold, can you see that? And it's really pretty on, it's really shiny, uh, but quite delicate. So I've got that one, hold on, I'll just take them off as I know. Uh, a pale blue one. And I'm not worrying too much if the jewellery, you know, the colour of the jewellery, you know, I'm, I'm looking for gold stuff, uh, but I'm not too, and this was actually one that I had taken to the clothes swap, was it last time or the time before? Anyway, I've brought it back because it's a gold one. Uh, I'm not worrying too much if the actual jewellery is, you know, T1 colours. And as long as it's something that kind of uh, will give me a little pop of colour or brighten up an outfit. So I've taken that one to try. I'm not, I'm not sure, but we're going into winter now and I'm going to be wearing a lot of uh, probably navy blues, um, lilac colours, purple, that kind of thing. So I took that one and also this red one. So there we go. I'm going to just pop those back on there. Uh, and what else can I tell you? Oh, you know, and everybody had such a, a, a great time last night. And, and as I said before, we all help each other. It's like, oh, you know, if I took off something that I, I felt, you know, it wasn't uh, my style or wasn't my size, I would say, oh, listen, you know, X, Y, Z, do you want to try it on? Because we're, we're really getting to know each other's styles now. And the fun thing is now that all these uh, ladies will be looking up their Dressing Your Truth types. So, so next time we'll... We'll have a better idea, or they will, of, of what kind of colours will, will suit them. So anyway, I'm, I need to get my outfit sorted out for tomorrow. Uh, I hope this encouraged you to declutter what you're not using and, you know, kind of pare down so that we are... If you, if you do go out and buy stuff that you're not just kind of buying the same old thing and stuffing in the wardrobe, you know, and ending up with... 10 uh, pairs of black trousers or you know 50 uh, yellow tops that you're actually aware of of what you like and what you are wearing and that's also a great idea of putting out choosing your outfit the night before because you're actually looking at your wardrobe what do i have what am i wearing what am i not wearing and the chance to you know take a piece of jewelry that you haven't worn for a long time um you know, a, a bracelet or perhaps you have a piece of jewellery that was given to you by a family member, you know, wear it, you know, uh, use it and wear it, enjoy it. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to enjoy <laughs> putting away these things and I got rid of four huge bags of stuff that I wasn't using and it was so fun also to see people taking my stuff and I was like, oh yeah, that looks fantastic on you and why don't you wear it this? So anyway, ah, now I need to ground myself again it was a fantastic night last night so anyway um down in denmark saying live long and prosper may the decluttering who could be with you hope you can recycle something today or give it to a friend or pass on to somebody who's going to use it and i shall see you uh bright and early on monday morning for something new okay bye for now